I know a lot of people say thrifting is dead and you can't really find stuff there anymore that's worth selling on eBay. Well, honestly, I disagree. It has become a little more sporadic, but I've still been managing to find some really cool stuff. Check it out. I hate selling shoes. You shouldn't even be looking at them, but this is why I do look at them. This is a pair of Red Wing motorcycle boots. They're kind of like, I don't know, they need a good polish and need a good cleaning, but they're only gonna be 850 here. And there's comps in the like 130, 140 range. And this is a size 12, so really good size. We're only gonna be 850. I think I'm gonna pick those up. So I was actually in here the other day and these shelves were pretty much empty. They were doing like a purge or something, getting rid of a bunch of old stuff. Uh, I'm not finding anything new worth selling though. Those are VCR, Blue Line, Panasonic Blue Line. Those are typically, oh wow, $39.99 for VCR. $20 for that one. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Oh, that's cool. It's definitely the older tag. Single stitch. That's pretty neat. Really good condition too. I'll grab that for $1.50. All right, so got a few things. Got the Red Wing boots, and they definitely need a little cleaning, but 850, and I think I can get 115, 125 from them. They do need a little bit of work, a little bit of cleaning. I'll hit them with my Doc Martens Wonder Balsam, and they should shine right up. Then the Vintage Single Stitch California T-shirt. I don't know, maybe 20 bucks. I just thought it was cool. And then I actually went in the boutique and forgot to film. I found this really cool minor league hockey jersey. Greenville Swamp Rabbits, and these things always sell really well for me when I find them. Pretty rare. I did have to pay up though because it was in the boutique. Pay $24.99. I think I can get at least 50 bucks for it. Double my money, but honestly, I'm going to shoot for like $115, $125. So, fingers crossed, and uh, we're going to the Salvation Army. So real quick on that jersey, I didn't even do what I told myself I was going to do. I actually listed it for $94.50 instead of the $115 that I said I was going to list it for. And apparently I sold it too cheap because it sold almost instantly. But in my defense, there weren't really any comps for that particular jersey. I found a similar one that was game worn and it sold for like $400. And then the rest of them were selling the few that did sell for like $76, $65, somewhere in there. So I thought actually pricing mine at 94 was a little high, but I guess not. But either way, 24 and 94, not too bad. Also, I didn't find anything at the Salvation Army or the next door or the next door or even the next door. Didn't find anything else until the next day when I stopped at a random Goodwill on the way to get my car serviced. Well, that's the weirdest Nike shirt I've ever seen. Two tags. How sick is that? 1993? Yeah. So for a random stop on the way to somewhere else, that actually turned out to be pretty good. That Nike shirt was like some kind of weird heavy mesh shirt. Never seen anything like it. It was new with tags. I decided to pick it up for $4.75. And it actually sold surprisingly quick for $32 plus shipping. And the Brave shirt, I think I can get like $30 for it at least. It was from 1993. So definitely a pretty cool find. But let me fast forward and show you some of the other things I've been picking up recently. All right, first stop, electronics. And last time I was here, the pricing was... It's like they increased the pricing or something. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, they want 20 bucks for this VCR. It used to be like $8, $25 for the subwoofer for that speaker, 15 for each speaker. Yeah, they're kind of crazy. There's a waffle maker, the Wearing Pro. Those are usually pretty good, but they want 26 bucks more. Pricing's gone up here, that's for sure. All right, so I've been all over this thrift store, and you guys saw the super high electronic prices. I uh, did get one thing. I'm going to get this Masters shirt. Usually, I don't get the ones with the Masters collection tag. They don't really sell real well, but Masters is coming up, and I think it should sell pretty quick. It's, uh, I think, in about a month and a half, something like that. So hopefully, we do pretty good. Shirts here are only $4.75. I'm actually about to check out my master shirt, but I decided to stop in this shoe section. I don't really expect to find much because pretty much all the good stuff is in the boutique. And I actually went to the boutique first. Uh, I did find something and I kind of told myself because I'm not really excited about buying it that if it's there, I'll grab it on the way out. So yeah, that's what we're going to do.
All right, got a few things. Definitely not a big haul. I uh, kind of got this one on a whim. It's a new era bucket hat with the uh, 2021 PGA Ocean Course down in Kiowa. I was actually at this tournament. Get a hole. Didn't buy a hat though. These things were probably 80 bucks at the tournament. I paid five dollars for it here. May end up keeping it, may end up selling it. There was no comps. I still think I could get 20, 30 bucks for it. I then got the master shirt, I paid 475 for it. It's a size extra large, really good condition. I definitely think it'll sell in the next few weeks because like I said, the masters is coming up. But uh, let's go to the Salvation Army. All right, kind of starting in the back of the store and I already see something that might have potential. Those are new formats for a on the pilot. They're new and sealed. Yeah, they're sealed. They want $4.99. Those at least got to be worth 30, 40 bucks. And they usually sell pretty quick, too. Three piece uh, Make sure there's three in there. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll grab those. So I can usually find stuff on the new racks that they put out like this, but I've looked through like five or six different ones and haven't found a single thing. So I guess I'll take a peek at the regular stuff. All right, so we got the Honda Pilot floor mats. Uh, did look up comps. Looks like they sell for 40, 50 bucks. Sell through rate's not really good, but these are the OEM mats and that's definitely what you want to be on the lookout for. The original equipment manufacturer means they're made by Honda. Uh, you don't want the floor mats from like AutoZone. But yeah, 4.99 and the 40 or 50, not too bad. At a Goodwill now, let's check it out. This might be the least crowded that I've ever seen this Goodwill, but unfortunately, I'm not finding anything. I mean, it's a bunch of junk, a bunch of Chotskys. I don't know, kind of depressing to be honest with you. I mean, seriously, it's like nothing but junk here. I just can't get ahead. Look at here, even the clothes are teasing me. Found this awesome vintage master shirt. Never seen this pink pattern before, but giant hole right there it's the wrong kind of hole in one all right enough bad jokes or actually i can't promise that but i've decided to make another lap around the store and i'm glad i did because i just found something I had to walk up to the front and get a cart to put it in because it's heavy but let me grab it and show you what it is all right so here's something that I never find Magic the Gathering. This is the 2013 core set. Unfortunately, it's taped up and it's definitely loose cards. What do you think? You think it'd be worth three bucks to explore and hope that there's one good one in there? I don't know. I might give it a shot. I mean, nothing about Magic. For three bucks, it be an opportunity to learn. I actually headed to the checkout counter and came across this thing. Quilter's Fabric Out. Never heard of it before. It's brand new sealed. So I had to look it up and there's 12 listed and like 20 something have sold. 20, yeah, 20 sold. So it should sell pretty quick. Uh, there's the same one right there, 40 plus shipping from Australia. Um, sold for 30, 30, 39.95, 30. So seven into 30, not a huge margin, but should sell really quick. Like I said, 12 listed, 20 have sold, take it. All right, what did we get? I actually barely remember. I stood in line forever to check out, but uh, let's see here. Let's start off with this guy. This is a Knight KG-854 transistor stereo amplifier. I have never heard of Knight stereo equipment before. Only thing I know about Knight are uh, the ones in shining armor and cheap golf clubs, but there's none listed and one sold, sold for parts, 80 bucks. And similar models have sold in the two and $300 range. So I think it's worth a shot for 1099. At worst case scenario, I sell it for parts for 70 bucks. It was, or excuse me, 79.99, free shipping. I take $20 off of that for shipping. That's still 11 in the 60, not too bad. And then, like I said, the fabric calculator thing should sell for around 30, should sell pretty quick. And then the Magic the Gathering cards, although I don't think they're gathering anymore they're definitely loose in there but uh and i don't have high hopes but you never know and i'll uh, have some fun to open them up so stick around at the end of the video we'll open them up and see if we can't find that rare hundred thousand dollar card never know so i came straight to the back of this goodwill and this definitely has to be the most unorganized goodwill that i go to i mean they just basically throw stuff on the shelf it's kind of nuts makes it really hard to find anything i guess you never know Look at that, just random stuff everywhere. 
I'm not seeing anything. There we go. Nike drop fit with Bam. That's good. And then the joy. No logos. That's good too. All right, so paid uh, $9.50 for two shirts. Got the Foot Joy shirt, didn't have any logos on it. Bread and butter, should sell pretty quick, 20, maybe 30 bucks. It is multicolor, so those tend to sell a little bit better. And then the Nike Dry Fit Tiger Wood shirt. The cool thing about that one is it's got Tiger's old logo on it. If you don't know, Tiger changed his logo very recently. And uh, honestly, to me, it looks kind of goofy. It looks like they took the El Tigre logo and killed it and used the skeleton, which is kind of morbid, but that's what it looks like to me. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know how much it's going to sell for. I do think they're going to be more valuable now since he changed his logo, but uh, we're off to the next spot. I don't get up. Must be Masters Day. This is actually a pretty good brand straight down if it didn't have the Palmetto Amateur logo on it. But once again, Masters Collection, not great, but this thing looks brand new. I just found this thing too. It's pretty awesome. It's Under Armour. PGA Tour Championship, got the Under Armour logo on that side, East Lake Golf Club on that side, the sponsor on the back, that's pretty cool. So unfortunately I couldn't find any comps whatsoever on that Under Armour pullover. I'll probably end up asking around $30 and you guys can probably tell I've gone pretty heavy into the golf stuff. Well it's because it's that time of the year, golf season started, I think it's going to start moving pretty quick. I've also been contemplating maybe selling some of the stuff on whatnot, the golf category there is pretty popular. I haven't decided yet, but I'll let you know. But we also need to open up these Magic the Gathering cards. I just got a feeling I've got something really good. All right, so I went ahead and opened the box, pulled the cards out. It's only a handful here. I've also done a little bit of research on eBay and kind of looked up the most expensive cards, so I kind of know what to look for. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of hope, but you never know what you're going to find in a box of cards from a thrift store. Oh my.